Can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's a definite 100%. Carlos, that is the answer. In his recent announcement, Elon Musk introduced a new revolutionary idea of Neuralink. In the presentation, he talked about how it can cure brain and spine diseases just by inserting a small chip inside our brain. But does this mean its potential uses of Neuralink are only limited for curing eyesight, Alzheimer's and other brain related problems? Let's see. Before jumping into what could be the potential uses or outcomes of Neuralink, let's understand how it works first. Well, you, you'll be able to interface with each other in some sort of a non-verbal, mm -hmm. non-physical way where you will transfer data back and forth to each other without having to actually use your mouth yeah, and make noises. Human body senses something with the help of neurons which are spread throughout the body. When we touch, hear or watch something, these neurons will generate an electrical signal which is also called as stimuli and send it to certain parts in our brain or spinal cord wherein they will be processed to identify the objects we sense. This is an incredibly fast process. See, I am talking and within absolutely no time you are able to listen it and sometimes even react to it as well. We use the same principle in our electronic appliances as well. Whether it's a mobile phone, speaker or just anything. All these devices are operated with the help of electrical signals. Now the only difference between signals inside our brain and signals inside those devices is the intensity of signal in our brain is extremely low. But imagine if somehow we could capture and regenerate these signals inside our brain then we could simply manipulate our body in all possible ways we want. And this is when Elon Musk's Neuralink comes into the picture. In their demonstration, they presented us with three pigs. The first one was just normal one without any implants. The second one had Neuralink at some point of time but now which was removed. The third one has the Neuralink in his brain. The demonstration did not include anything groundbreaking like curing of diseases or telepathic communication but it was just to show us how normal it is to have something inside our brain. At one point in their demonstration they showed us a clip where Neuralink was recording signals inside the brain of pig. It's like a portable MRI machine fitted inside our body which can not only record the signals but also can regenerate it in order to control our body. What it could really mean is if I have an implant then I can record my feelings or experiences and regenerate those signals in order to experience exactly the same feeling all over again. It's amazing, right? But that doesn't stop here. I can record my signals and instead of regenerating them inside my own body, I could send it to some other implant which is probably present in someone else's brain and then he or she can experience my feelings exactly the same way I experienced it. Now imagine you are watching a video of someone walking in the streets of Venice. You will be able to see how beautiful the architecture is but you won't be able to experience it. Or say if you are watching a cookery show you could see the colorful dishes but you couldn't smell it or test it. But with this device you will be able to experience all these senses just by sitting on the couch and just closing your eyes. This could simply change the way humans communicate or consume information or simply the way we interact with the materialistic things. But unfortunately, it might take some more time as the device is still in its first design phase. But once the proper human testing and the commercial production of Neuralink starts, we might be able to do all these activities together. Now tell us in the comment section which of the above potential ideas seems cooler to you and what you would do if you had the implant inside your brain. If you like the video, please give a huge thumbs up to us. 
and share this video with your friends, family or just anyone you know. And the most important thing, if you are new to the channel, just subscribe to it because it's free and useful.